Hello, this is Rob Hirschfeld with another uh, digital rebar Kubernetes update. Um, we've added some more functionality. We're just blazing through capabilities to our Helm chart installer that enables us to install Rook. So Rook is a um, set of Kubernetes uh, utilities that deploy storage. Uh, they are different than what we demonstrated with Istio. Uh, so there's another video for Istio showing how to use this technology generally. I'm going to focus really much on the, the things we added to make Rook possible because that in itself is very powerful. Go check out the Istio video and see the general Helm chart process because I'm going to work with an existing Kubernetes cluster that I've already installed. Uh, and basically what Rook does is it allows you to install Ceph or Cockroach or other, other platforms. But unlike a regular Helm chart, you have to know something about your system. So you have to inject some data. So the Rook pattern, let me jump over to Rook here. So here's the Rook pattern. If I jump into the docs, what you'll see is um, a whole bunch of information about Rook. But the getting started here for doing a Ceph storage is that we need to know the data directory host path. So that has that's environmental data we need to know about the system. In, in this case, our defaults are just slash docker. We wanted a safe default. Um, and ultimately, we're, this, this work I'm showing you, we're going to keep iterating so that we actually calculate a good storage location or allow you to inject it. Right now, it's a parameter. I'll show you where that gets set in digital rebar that gets automatically injected into the, the bring up. But what happens here is that you need to run a Helm chart to install the operator. Once that's built, then you need to actually bring up the cluster, and the cluster requires you to do a cluster YAML and then kubectl create with that cluster information. And this is, a, this is a little bit of a dilemma. We have a strong sequence. We have to run a Helm chart, and then we have to run kubectl, and we have to inject data into that process. And yet, we want to do this completely automated. And so let me show you what, what we have going on here, jumping back over to digital rebar. And what you'll see is in the profile that we've built, I now have a Helm chart for Rook. And in this one, basically, I've got this kubectl after that says create a cluster for me using that command. And then I also have, of course, bring down the Rook Ceph operator and install that. And then, um, so that's the basics. So I've got this chart, and then I've got this kubectl create. The, that is actually coming from, and this is the addition that we just put in for our Helm charts, a template. Templates are a digital rebar Golang template that gets rendered dynamically by the system. So in this case, I can specify an additional template. This could also be a Helm chart. In this case, um, let me show you what that, that looks like. So this Helm Rook config template file, if I jump over into crib, you could upload these yourself to, to override them and then change it in the configuration, of course. If I come down to, I'm just scrolling right past it and not paying attention, should be, uh, let's see. No. Nope. Oh, this is, it's in the pull request. It's not in content yet. Uh, let me show you on my local system. It'll be, when you look at this, it'll be there. Uh, but it's not there yet because my pull request hasn't been accepted. So if I look at this configuration file, this is literally just what was in the docs, so, except I pulled a more advanced version. And then when it comes down to setting the data host, it pulls in the parameter value. So it's not just this configuration file. We're actually injecting parameters there. Uh, and if you look at that parameter, no, nope, not that one, somewhere in here. If you look at that parameter file, hold on, I'll do it up here, under R for Rook, it's just a string and it's just slash docker as a default. So if it's not there, if you don't set it, it'll do it. If you include it in the machine or the profile, it'll set that correctly for whatever your environment is until we build the stage to calculate this, this information. And then if I was to actually look at the code to, ins to run the Helm chart, uh, sorry if this is a little opaque to you. This is just Golang templating. But what's happening here is it's iterating over all those templates. It's going to name them based on the key of the map, and then it's going to render the template. And so literally you could inject any template into the Helm rendering engine. So you could create custom Helm charts, 
with parameter injection that would be overridden or inserted at the profile before Kubernetes is run, or you could actually calculate those things and then in send them back into the profiles. Both would work. Uh, but this makes it so that basically any chart can have dynamic data in it about the physical environment or the environment that you want to inject before it runs that chart. So very powerful addition. Uh, and then it just names them whatever you want, and then you just refer to it as you go. Uh, and that's pretty much what we were able to do here. So if I jump over to my jobs uh, and I find my uh, crib helm stage right over here, I think I, oh, I debug turned on. So there's a ton of extra data about what's going on. Yay. And uh, here you can actually see this is where we come in. We get the uh, chart. And then we, uh, a little bit above that, we build the whole uh, file, the whole configuration file. This actually runs the chart, waits until the chart is up, and then it runs kubectl with that um, template rendered file in the mix of all that stuff. So very simple, very powerful. Um, and then best of all, out of this, you get Rook. So if we come back over here and I scroll back in my history a little bit, um, what you'll see is, uh, I mean, I'll just look at the Rook ones. It's actually running the Rook components. Uh, in this case, I, I have a pretty limited system, so there's, there's not um, that many services. Uh, if I jump back all the way to my, mm -hmm, not my services, my pod, uh, you'll actually see here's the Mons and the OSD. I could jump in and check out the logs and things like that. It takes, and if you if you do this, I highly suggest you do. It's very very easy. Um, let me show you. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Then it takes a little while for all the bits and pieces to sort of wind up. We don't wait until that kubectl command is is completed. We just it completes and then Ceph uh, will come up through Rook. It's pretty fun like that. And then the other thing that I would tell you is how you actually set this up is if you look at profiles and you go into our Helm reference profile, we have uh, something you can copy for Istio, something you can copy for Rook. You could just grab both um, and then you'd get all three of these charts and then just delete out the sections that you don't want. So if you want to do the Rook one, it's going to end up looking just like this in your profile before you execute. So hold on, here's my profile. Here's my Kubernetes cluster profile, and if I expand the Helm charts, you'll see there's an array, and then inside of that array I have the, the block that shows all of the configuration settings I need for, for Rook Ceph. Uh, and if you drop that in Helm charts and then run the uh, crib demo, it will install Rook. That simple. Uh, hope you give this a shot. We're really excited about these new capabilities that we've been bringing into the crib infrastructure because our goal is zero touch, right? Start machines, Kubernetes comes out, and now with Istio and Rook and whatever advanced health charts or processes you want to implement, we've been working on ways to make it uh, possible for you to play very, very quickly and easily with Kubernetes, um, really, really taking all the, the angst and time out of uh, Kubernetes install. This is great. Please, please let us know. Uh, we'd love to, to hear your opinions on it and get your feedback and help making this better. Thanks.